Tesla and other companies have started to look at manufacturing in a completely different way, said Pedro Pacheco, vice president of research at Gartner. Indeed, a giant press is now reshaping how humanoid robots like Optimus are built. Instead of assembling more than 60 parts, Tesla can cast the robot frame in a single shot, cutting production time and costs by up to 40%. As this Giga casting technology shifts from EVs to robots, how is Gen 3 bot advancing mass production to the next level? Before we begin, please help us reach 8,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What would happen if Tesla applied the 50,000-ton Gigapress to Optimus production? Casting the torso of the Tesla bot using a 50,000-ton Gigapress would fundamentally transform both its structural and mechanical design. Unlike traditional humanoid robots such as Figure 01 or Digit, which rely on modular frames made from hundreds of aluminum and polymer components, Tesla's approach would enable a seamless one-piece structure. Agility Robotics, for instance, revealed that Digit's body consists of over 200 individual parts assembled with screws, brackets, and welds. This not only adds weight, but also introduces potential misalignments and slows down production. In contrast, Tesla's Giga casting method would eliminate separate joints entirely, resulting in a lighter, more durable frame with fewer points of failure. However, to fully capitalize on the advantages of a single casting, the design of Optimus would need to be reimagined from the ground up. This shift would mark a significant departure from conventional robot assembly methods, potentially setting a new standard in humanoid robot manufacturing. Tesla's die-casting approach aims to reduce that number to under 10 structural parts, similar to the Model Y's rear underbody, which was reduced from 70 parts to just one. With the Tesla bot, the central chassis could be cast as a single integrated exoskeleton, incorporating mounting points for actuators, battery packs, wire harness channels, and cooling systems all baked into the geometry of the mold. This not only saves assembly labor, but also ensures millimeter or even submillimeter tolerances at scale, crucial for joint alignment and smooth bipedal movement. The lighter and denser design also helps keep the total robot weight below 56 kilograms. That's around 20% lighter than competitors like Figure 01, despite Tesla Bot having more joints and higher payload expectations. The reduced part count also improves structural stiffness which is vital for high-precision manipulation with Tesla Bot's 11-fingered hand and two degree of freedom wrists. Fewer joints between parts mean less flexing under load and higher energy efficiency, helping the robot run for eight plus hours on a single charge. Finally, with the body cast as one unified part, design iterations become software-driven. Any updates in motor placement or thermal pathways can be reprogrammed into the mold design. This gives Tesla a massive advantage in testing, refining, and evolving the robot rapidly, far ahead of competitors still reliant on traditional assembly methods. Regarding the production process, traditional Gigapress machines, with a pressing force of 6,000 to 12,000 tons, have been sufficient to cast the rear frame of vehicles like the Model Y or Cybertruck. However, a robot demands much higher mechanical precision due to its smaller, thinner structure and the many cavities needed to house sensors, wiring, motors, and transmission systems. If Tesla applies the 50,000-ton casting mold, it could be an effort to achieve the refinement necessary to integrate many components into a single block of material, such as mechanical joints at the hips or shoulders of Optimus. With a pressing force four times greater than the standard Giga Press used in cars, Tesla could produce seamless robot parts while maintaining the required lightweight and durability. In terms of production time, a single 50,000-ton Gigapress can complete what a robot frame in just 30 seconds. Running continuously, one machine could produce around 900 to 1,500 frames per day. With three machines working in parallel, Tesla could achieve an annual output of 1 to 1.3 million robot units. Meanwhile, competitors like Figure AI or Agility Robotics still operate on a small scale, taking several hours to assemble a single robot. This creates a massive gap in scalability. The greatest benefit lies in cost reduction. 
Casting a single piece drastically reduces the number of mechanical parts from hundreds down to fewer than 20 main components. Each assembly step requires labor, time, and quality control. Cutting down assembly stages also lowers error rates, maintenance costs, and simplifies mass production. A robot with a cast single-piece frame could cost only a few hundred dollars for the frame alone, compared to thousands of dollars with traditional methods. Combined with the 4,680 battery cells and electric motors reused from Tesla's electric vehicles, the total production cost of Optimus could be reduced below $20,000. Materials are also a crucial factor. Tesla could use specially formulated aluminum-magnesium alloys, similar to those in aerospace, to achieve an optimal strength-to-weight ratio. A lighter robot is not only easier to move, but also consumes less energy. This extends battery life, is a critical factor when deploying robots at scale in industrial, logistics, or healthcare environments. The impact on competitors cannot be overlooked. If Tesla can produce millions of Optimus robots annually at a cost 50 to 70 percent lower than current companies, many robotic startups may need to fundamentally rethink their business models. Firms like Boston Dynamics, known for Atlas and Spot robots, have invested heavily in software and mobility, but have yet to solve the cost challenge. Meanwhile, Tesla applies the automotive philosophy. Mass production is the hardest engineering problem, even harder than AI. The long-term potential is enormous. With the ability to cast millions of precise, lightweight, durable, and affordable robot frames, Tesla could bring Optimus to the mass market, from personal assistants and logistics workers to healthcare aides. Each of these fields represents hundreds of billions of dollars in market opportunity. If the product proves durable, Affordable and intelligent enough, Tesla will not only lead in electric vehicles, but also pioneer the global consumer robotics industry. As Elon Musk once said, the robot market could be bigger than the car market. In summary, if Tesla deploys the 50,000-ton gigapress for the Optimus robot, it would not merely be a technical innovation. It would lay the foundation for a new industrial revolution where robots are produced as quickly as cars, as cheaply as smartphones, and as intelligently as humans learn. If this becomes a reality, the Giga Press would be more than just a massive metal machine. It would symbolize the dawn of the 21st century mass robot production era. Tesla's use of the 50,000 ton Giga Press to cast the body of the Tesla bot marks a significant advancement in the humanoid robot manufacturing industry, highlighting a notable difference from traditional casting machines like the 12,000 ton. Giga Press, currently used for the Cybertruck. Although both are massive high-pressure casting technologies, these two machines differ completely in terms of objectives, materials, processes, and precision requirements reflecting two very distinct design philosophies between automobiles and humanoid robots. First, the biggest difference lies in the intended product. The 12,000-ton Giga Press is designed to cast large, high-strength parts such as the floor frame or rear frame of the Cybertruck components requiring high durability, rigidity, and impact resistance. These parts may be geometrically simple but thick and heavy, aligning with the goal of reducing part counts and enhancing vehicle durability. In contrast, the 50,000-ton Giga Press aims to cast the main body of the Tesla bot, a compact, lightweight yet extremely intricate structure that must integrate mechanical mounts, motor housings, wiring channels, sensors, and numerous high-precision assembly points. Casting a robot frame in a single press cycle, while still incorporating all internal mechanical structures, is a tremendous technical challenge, requiring far higher precision than vehicle frame casting. Next, the alloy materials used in casting show clear differences. For the Cybertruck, Tesla uses ultra-hard aluminum alloys cast into thick plates to ensure resistance to impact and heavy loads during operation. However, the Tesla bot requires a completely different alloy and aluminum-magnesium, lightweight but strong alloy that makes the robot frame both sturdy and keeps the overall robot weight optimized under 60 kilograms. This is crucial for enabling flexible movement, low energy consumption, and compatibility with the small electric motor systems inside. Additionally, 
the mold precision and allowable tolerances during casting are decisive factors. For the Tesla bot, allowable deviations in mounting holes, rotary shafts, and transmission brackets must be extremely small, sometimes only a few thousandths of a millimeter to ensure smooth movement and accurate manipulation. Therefore, molds for the 50,000-ton Giga Press are manufactured using advanced technology, more expensive materials, and are designed for wear resistance and precision retention over millions of press cycles. In contrast, the 12,000-ton Giga Press molds can tolerate slightly larger deviations, given the larger product size and less stringent micro-level detail requirements compared to robots. Another important distinction is the production cycle time and casting speed. The 50,000-ton Giga Press can complete a Tesla bot frame in about 60 to 90 seconds, since it melts less alloy and deals with a smaller product structure. Meanwhile, the 12,000-ton machine takes two to three minutes per cycle to cast a Cybertruck frame due to the larger material volume and longer cooling times. Faster casting speed is critical for Tesla to reach high production volumes for Optimus, about 10,000 robots per week in the near future. Once again, please help us reach 8,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why is Giga Texas suitable for producing Tesla bot using the 50,000 ton Giga Press? Tesla Giga Texas is currently the leading candidate to implement the 50,000 ton Giga Press casting technology for the Optimus robot. Based on many technical advantages and Tesla's overall production strategy, Giga Texas covers more than 9,200 hectares and is considered the largest automotive manufacturing facility in North America, with a projected capacity of up to 500,000 vehicles per year, including the Cybertruck and electric vehicle, pioneering the use of the 50,000-ton Giga Press technology to cast large structural components in the vehicle frame, significantly reducing assembly time and production costs. According to published data, the 50,000-ton Giga Press can cast large parts measuring several meters in size in under two minutes per cycle. This pressing force is approximately four times greater than the 12,000-ton Giga Press, currently used for other Tesla electric models such as the Model Y. Using the extremely high-pressure Giga Press allows for creating large, single-piece components that minimize joints and separate parts, thereby increasing durability and reducing weight factors that are crucial for the Optimus robot's design. Not only equipped with modern Giga Press production lines, Giga Texas also has a top-tier team of mechanical engineers, AI experts, and automation specialists with experience in developing complex systems such as robots, electric vehicles, and control software. The synchronization between casting technology, robot design, and advanced electronics enables Tesla to significantly shorten product development cycles and increase the feasibility of mass-producing humanoid robots. Furthermore, the factory has dedicated testing areas for Optimus, allowing quality and functionality checks immediately after assembly. If the production and casting process at Giga Texas prove successful, Tesla will likely expand this technology to Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai. Giga Berlin, Tesla's main production hub in Europe, is designed for up to 500,000 vehicles per year and is equipped with advanced technology and highly skilled labor. Although labor costs are higher there than in China, producing close to the EU market helps Tesla reduce logistics and tariff expenses and quickly meet the rapidly growing demand for robots in Europe. Meanwhile, Giga Shanghai offers production costs approximately 40 to 60 percent lower than in the US, especially for labor and logistics. With a capacity exceeding 450,000 vehicles per year, this factory could become a large-scale production center for Optimus robots serving the vast Asian market, including China, Japan, South Korea, and Southeast Asia regions, with high demand for automation in industries, logistics, and services. Tesla's multi-factory production strategy combined with Giga Press technology increases flexibility in the global supply chain minimizing risks of disruption due to political, economic, or logistical factors. This approach also shortens delivery times and improves Tesla's ability to meet the growing market demand for robots. However, 
deploying the 50,000-ton gigapress for humanoid robot production across different factories poses significant challenges, including standardizing, technical processes, workforce training, and maintaining product quality in diverse manufacturing environments. Tesla will need to invest heavily in training and build strict management systems based on its global experience, ramping up electric vehicle production. Regarding long-term goals, we appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.